Hello, future nurses. This is the first in a series of videos to teach you how to do the conversion problems in the math section of the HESI. So this one's going to start with learning the conversion factors um, for English volume units, such as gallons, quarts, ounces, those units. Um, second one is going to be similar, but learning the conversion factors for metric conversion, such as kilometers to meters to centimeters. And then the third one, we're gonna actually start solving the problem. So by that one, you'll know what the conversion factors are and we'll be talking about how to actually use them to solve the conversion problems. So the HESI has a lot of math problems where it's asking you to do conversions between um, units such as gallons, quarts, pints, cups, and ounces. So the easiest way to learn that is this method that we call the big G or the kingdom of gallon. So here's the story to go along with it and the, um, what you're going to be drawing on your note sheet while you're taking it. So you'll practice drawing this out several times so that when you go into your actual test, you'll draw it out um, before you even start your test. So that's there to look at as a reference um, when you get your first question that's asking about these conversions. So in the kingdom of gallon, there are four queens and each queen has two princesses. Each princess has two cats and each cat needs eight ounces of water. So what those actually stand for is the G is for gallon. The Q is for quarts because there are four quarts in a gallon. The P is for pints because there are two pints in a quart. And the C is for cups because there are two cups in a pint. And then one cup is equal to eight ounces. So that's um, a big chunk of the conversions that you'll need to memorize for the HESI right there. And you'll be able to use them um, when we get into the examples. You'll um, be able to use them for any kind of conversion that involves gallons, quarts, pints, cups, and ounces. And it doesn't matter what direction it's going or um, whether it's going from, say, gallons to quarts or gallons all the way down to ounces. Um, so generally what you'll be doing when you're working out these problems is Say, for example, it wants you to go from gallons to pints, and it tells you, say, three gallons. All you need to know to be able to solve that, and we'll work, we'll work on the actual calculations later, but for the conversion factor from that, what you need to know is how many pints are in one gallon. So to do that, you'll just count up how many peas are in this one gallon. So one gallon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight peas inside of it. And so that means that one gallon is equal to eight pints. Um, if it's asking you, for example, how many cups are in a certain number of quarts, then you'll want to know how many cups are in one quart. So then you'll just zoom in on one of your cues and count up how many C's are in that, which is one, two, three, four. So um, those are just a couple of quick examples of how that will work. And so um, for now, what you need to be practicing is just writing this. So go through using the story in your head um, that in the kingdom of Gallon, there are four queens. So you'll write your big G, then you write in your four Qs. And each queen has two princesses. So in each Q, you'll write in your two Ps for the two princesses. And each princess has two cats. So you'll write in your two Cs inside of each P. And then each cat needs eight ounces of water. Just somewhere else on there, write in your um, one cat needs eight ounces of water. So next video, we're gonna be learning a similar kind of thing 
um, for the metric units. And then the video after that will be using all the conversions that we've learned to solve um, actual problems.